The title of our topic today is See the beauty in you and the world. The way we see the world shapes the way we act. Question. How much of the way you feel is influenced by social media, media propaganda and the people in your various social circles? Many people find that they are in a fine state of mind until so and so said such and such. Now we have a request to make of you. Please subscribe to our channel. If you are not yet a subscriber, it's free. And please share this video with your family, friends and contacts. Thank you. We see the world through our eyes and often we have to see and understand the world through the eyes of others. The key is to know what lens to choose and look through at different conditions, situations and circumstances. Please wake up each morning knowing that the presence of God is in your life. Why? To promote His kingdom and do your part to make your life better the world a better place. God will open the eyes of your heart to see that which is, that which should be, and that which is about to become. For your good and the good of others around you, and for those that you can positively influence. Not every thought that goes through your mind comes from God or from the devil. When negative thoughts and doubts creep into your mind, Counter these thoughts with what the thoughts of God on the situation or matter are. The Bible shows you what these are. Think of those things that are positive and good. Proverbs 4 verse 23 and 24 says, Be careful what you think, because your thoughts run your life, your inner reasoning and deliberations. Don't tell lies. Keep your eyes focused on what is right and look ahead to what is good. There are many dimensions and shades of life. Your reality is seen through the normal lens you use to observe the world around you. The lens you use to look through gives you a different focus and different view. You have your own lens and you see things and events and ideas through the lens you use. The way you view yourself, the way you view life, and the way you even view this offering of ours and presentation from Joel's place at Oasis Auckland. Our thoughts directly influence the way we feel. If you think something bad is going to happen to you, then you have negative emotions that colour how you see situations in your present world. Similarly, if you feel positive emotions, then that sets the way you see circumstances and situations. Have you noticed that if you are with and around positive, optimistic people, you can catch their emotions and it influences the way you think and feel and act? Ah, so the company you keep is important to the way you go through life. It makes you think, doesn't it? To grow in new ways, understand your emotions. That will take you forward to grow in new ways. As an example, if you are feeling anger, examine its cause and downsides. This can help you to choose better actions that enhance your values and your long-term goals. What matters to you? Is it your marriage and home and family? Your religious beliefs and the practice of your faith? Your job prospects? What irritates you continually? Learn to slow down and feel your feelings about these, then you can learn how to move forward. If you want to avoid understanding what pains or irritates you, you will not learn in progress. When anger, sadness, shame, fear creep upon you or hits you suddenly, you have a quick, short time and the power to choose your response. If you take the time to count from one to 10, you can regain your composure. That's the place for quick wisdom to guide you to what is more important to you and to your well-being. How does God transform you? God transforms you by the way you think. Believers in God and followers of Jesus Christ must try their best to let their thoughts and words please the Lord. Why? So God can lead you to a life of contentment and meaning and abundance.
God sees what's in our hearts. 1 Chronicles chapter 28 and verse 9. So what can you see? What can you do? Your thoughts are subject to your faith and beliefs. Do not let your thoughts undermine your self-worth and value. Say no to thoughts that demotivate you. Say no to thoughts that go in the direction of failure and hopelessness or stagnation. Seek the support of trusted friends and believers. When faced with thoughts that add no beauty to your life, promote a negative view of life and your world encircled. A beautiful mind exercises clear and creative thinking. A beautiful mind is tranquil and serene, no matter how busy or quiet life may be. Your beautiful mind lets you discuss points of view with clarity and balance. You have interesting opinions. You create the best opportunities for the welfare of others. You produce original thoughts and ideas. You make every effort to put your ideas to good use and for the benefit of others. You experience the small details in life and experience the goodness that is embedded in today. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ, we invite you to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Just say the simple prayer to accept him and follow him. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please forgive me for my sin and accept me into your kingdom. I want to follow Jesus Christ from this day. Give me faith to believe in him and courage to confess him as my Lord and Savior. I ask and pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We say welcome. Perhaps there was a time when you were a follower of Jesus Christ. Over time, you have grown cold and distant and have separated yourself from the Christian faith and from Jesus. We invite you to come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just pray the simple prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me. Let your love reach out to me and restore me to the family of God in Christ Jesus. I rededicate my life to you in the name of your Son, Jesus. And I say, Amen. Here's looking forward to being in your company again next week. Until then, love and blessings from all of us at Joel's Place at Oasis, Auckland.